Getting three top five finishes, although one of them wasn't official because I got DQ'd for being 12 pounds light. Showed up without a starter because I went out the night before and was lower on feeling than I thought. set of gears, got wrecked plenty enough, oh well, we had fun, we learned a lot. <laughs> Very excited to go to beat mom next year. Ran that class five times, four years ago, love it. Can't afford the race feel on these things and the amount of tires they wear out. A lot of the times the beat mods run at the beginning of the program where there's more tacky track. Saves on tires. Don't have to run race feel, nine and a half to one compression. Mix a little bit. Push rods, go through rocker arms, broken rocker arms, push rod disappeared. Another thing I like more about B mods, these can run solid lifters at extra 10 horse. A lot more maintenance. Gotta run hydraulic in B mod. <laughs>
there's still over a week left of October and it's been freaking snowing on and off every day the past week anyway we got to be very thankful that we got to do what we love all summer long here in Wisconsin. <clears throat> the beginning of the year, it was, or when the lockdown was in the spring, it was, we were, everybody was pretty worried what was going to happen. We got to do some field racing, started the season off with that. Then finally everything just opened up and we got to go racing to have most of the season. The places I got to run this year. Like demo derbies were huge. Even went to a fair in Hayward, the only one that didn't cancel around here. And there's tons of people at these places, and everything turned out just fine. Did suck that at a couple invitationals that I was looking forward to being able to finally run. Got canceled, like the Red Clay Classic and the Punky. But I did finally get the race at Cedar Lake Speedway where I grew up and fell in love with racing and it would always rain when they ran piers and streeters on Saturday on Thursdays went there one time got rained out never got to go on the track and finally did so that was pretty cool I feel like we did pretty good with what we had 10 year old car don't even have dart heads got the stock factory Double hump heads on her, old shocks. So, can't complain too much. Gotta th give a huge thank you to Brad Ingram here in Blackjack Towing, giving me these opportunities to drive these cars. And all of my sponsors Lens Custom Eats and Catering out of Hayward, JR Excavating out of Hayward, Heinz Oil, Ultimate Auto Body out of Hayward. Stone Lake Pub there in Stone Lake. R3 Racing out of Hayward, come back this year. I also got to give a huge thanks to my crew, everybody helped me out this year. Randy, Cody, Desiree, Justin, and special thanks to Denny Cutsforth for helping me get this thing set up on the right track at the beginning of the year. So we're gonna get this thing up for sale and the other roller, super stock get going on next season hopefully get back to our winning ways and 2021 will be better than ever thanks for watching